fasts Ramadan with two goals in mind. Number one, truly believing with this full-hearted faith in Allah, in that fasting is truly from Allah. Fasting is truly part of faith. Fasting is truly a spiritual act and command. Believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly would not tell you that without a benefit to you and that it is it wards off harm from you and believing that fasting is a pillar of Islam, believing that fasting will bring you closer to Jannah and away from hellfire, that's called the Iman. You must go into it believing that. Wahtisaban. And also the second goal is looking forward to the rewards and results from it. What is the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in the hereafter? And in this world. Ihtisaba. What makes a person endure when you think about what's going to come out of it? What is the result of it all? And just a very simple statement. That's why the scholars used to say, a mu'min lives his, his or her life as if they are in the hereafter. Always imagine yourself you are on the day of judgment if you believe in it, right? And this is, this is why it's only for people who believe. These people who don't believe in the deen and Quran, they're not going to see that. They're going to say, what's this nonsense? Because they're thinking in terms of the narrow, temporary boundaries of this life which they see, and that's it. There's nothing beyond it. Well, if you don't think anything beyond it, you don't believe in it, just, you know, don't even listen to these people. These people are not thinking beyond that. They're just thinking about the health benefit. Uh, is it beneficial? Let's look at the articles. Let's look at the studies. That's what the doctor said, and I'll go by that. Let's look if it really does help me with my anger, if it doesn't. And that is why with faith and belief, your fasting becomes something different. A lot of people who tell me that they're going to convert or, if you like the word, revert to Islam. Before they do it, they're always asking about you know, fasting in Ramadan. And mashallah, some of them are so prepared. And some of them try to fast before they embrace Islam. They want to try it out. But you see, it's good to, to, to practice from a physical point of view. But it is never ever the same. Once you embrace Islam, say your shahada, and your full belief is intact, and you're convinced with it, and you're with it, fasting suddenly takes on another whole new world for you. Everything about good deeds, your, your salat is for a different reason, your fasting, your hajj, everything means differently now. And really, those who convert to Islam really know exactly what I mean. Ask them, they will teach us a thing or two about how the heart changes. Or somebody who's had a bad life before, a sinful life, and suddenly they've repented to Allah. Suddenly fasting and salat takes on a different meaning to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm sure a lot of us have been through that. What does Rasul Sallallahu say? He says, whoever fasts Ramadan out of pure faith and belief, proper one, and anticipation for the reward which they believe in, all of their sins which they have done to this point will be forgiven. All of them will be forgiven. Which type of sins? They're all the minor sins. As for the major sins, they require uh, exclusive repentance. You have to stop the major sins. Which, well, I had a talk about this last time, a lecture. It's on YouTube, my YouTube page. It's got um, the, uh, about major sins and minor sins. Or any other page that, alhamdulillah, you trust qualified scholar to talk about it, then go for it. So brothers and sisters, so therefore, what are the conditions of the promised forgiveness from Allah to get the full reward? and to be forgiven in Ramadan. Number one, your faith. Number two, sincerity, seeking Allah's pleasure and reward. If you're not sincere, you're not going to be anticipating the rewards. You're going to say, what's that for? All I get is hunger and tiredness. And number three, avoiding major sins. Three conditions. Who can say them to me? First condition, to re receive the forgiveness and the full reward of fasting. Number one, clear faith. Number two, sincerity, anticipating the reward from Allah. Because if you, if you don't believe in the hereafter, you're not going to have sincerity. And number three, avoiding, avoiding major sins. Avoid, do these three and avoid the major sins in Ramadan. And you will be, inshallah, among those who goes under the... You'll be a candidate, all right, to receive Allah's forgiveness and the reward.